Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in. I've done a few videos here on the channel about load balancing in AWS, links in the description if you're interested. In this video I want to talk specifically about how to make your load balancer sticky. Not this kind of sticky, but in a second hopefully this picture will make more sense. By default, the way a load balancer routes traffic is using a round robin model, which basically means that one request comes in, we route it to an instance. Request two comes in, we route it to the next instance. Three comes in, we route it to the next instance, and so on. But maybe you want to route all three of those requests to the same instance. Something like this. A common use case for this is to preserve session data for a user, so making sure that all those requests go to the same machine, the session data is still there, rather than wiping it out by sending the request to a new second instance. And this is also sometimes called session affinity. The way this works, which we'll see in a demo, is by setting a cookie on the target group. In here you'll see a screenshot of that. We're saying, yes, we want to enable stickiness, and that's going to bind a client session to a specific instance in the target group. And then you can either use a load balancer generated cookie, this is the easy way to go and what we're going to do in just a minute, or you can use an application based cookie where you have more control of the naming. But both of these can be duration based between one second and seven days, and you can set that here on the screen as well. We're going to start here under EC2 and target groups. And with that selected, just come up to Actions and Edit Attributes. And here we want to enable stickiness. We're going to go with the Load Balancer Generated Cookie, just to keep things easy. And let's say that the duration for this should be one minute. We'll save changes. And just to remind you, if we click into this again and look at our targets, we've got the two different servers that we're routing between. But with the stickiness enabled, we should get routed to the same server for one minute. So I'll come back up here. I had this tab open previously, so let me just refresh and get kind of a baseline here. All right, we're going to the one that ends in 5.8. And now refreshing. It should stay on this one for the next minute or so. And I'll just pause for a little bit and come back. Okay, it's been more than a minute. Let's do a refresh and see if we get to the other instance now. And there we go, there's the second instance. And if I refresh here, that should stay on the same instance for a minute. If we go into our browser and look at our dev tools, I'm using Chrome here, but the same should be true of other browsers. Come into developer tools. Let me do a refresh. If you look at the details here, you'll see this cookie, AWS ALB, right here. This is being passed back and forth, and it was generated by the load balancer for us. And that's basically how it knows to direct to the same instance. It's using this cookie. All right, let's just quickly undo what we did here back to our target group, and we will edit attributes. And I'll just disable this stickiness, save changes. So now if I go back to my load balancer, it should toggle between the two instances like it was doing before. Let me refresh. And there we go. So that's how to work with sticky sessions on your load balancers target group. If you enjoy this kind of content, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button and also consider subscribing to be notified when I upload new content. Thank you so much for watching.